TJ <laughs> Jefferson, sir, are you ready? Are you ready? I stay ready, so I yes, have to get ready. Yes, a Rich. Christmas Eve edition of TJ Jefferson's Top 5, a.k.a. TJ's Big Ass Grab Bag, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. You know, like we always do at this time, uh, Jay Felly, Yo. hit the music. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Here we go. Yes. yes. Okay. Like we always do at this time. Kaboom. <laughs> Guess who stepped in the room? TJ here. Listen, 2021's coming to an end, folks. It's the end of the year, and some people like these year-end lists. Some people don't like them. I'm doing one regardless. Yes. So I've got TJ's top five, and I'm digging in the big-ass grab bag. I'm going to pull out five things that I really enjoyed this past year. But as always, there are more than five. There's actually ten. So I'm just going to put Whoa. five of these on one card. I'm going to run down these real quick. These are five things that I also enjoyed, and that CM Punk returning to wrestling after a seven-year hiatus. That was great. The Wu-Tang series on Hulu, which is amazing. If you love the Wu-Tang Clan like I love the Wu-Tang Clan, all about the Staten Island Rich. Staten Island Street down. Wise Troubadours. One Division was great. I never thought that Vision could be a compelling TV character, and yet it is. That show is crazy. Every episode is like a different type of sitcom. And if you've never watched One Division, just give it a check. It, yeah, it, it's pretty great. interesting. Sasha Banks, Bianca Belair headlining WrestleMania, the first time ever two African American women headline WrestleMania. It was a big deal. And uh, I, I forgot how big it was until I saw a clip on Monday Night Raw, and I got chills watching it. That was a moment. And when your one of your best buddies has a baby, that baby obviously becomes something that you love. So shout out to my boy Wilmer. Shout out to Amanda. They had a baby named Nakano, and Nakano was my girl. That's my home girl oh. right there. And, you know, we kick it all the time. We go to the mall. We chill. So Nakano, she's one of my top uh, 10 okay. things of the year. Yeah. So now we're getting to the top five here. Uh, coming in at number five, July 13th, 2021. Why that date means something is... Zola movie. I don't know if you guys know about Zola movie. This happened back in 2015. A, a woman named Zola in Detroit, who was a clothing optional dancer, we'll say this. She met another clothing <laughs> optional dancer at a Hooters that she worked and they decided to take a trip to go to a clothing optional uh, facility in Tampa, Florida. They took a road trip with uh, this girl's boyfriend and her roommate and basically Zola on July the 13th, or I'm sorry, back in 2015, had 148 tweet thread. I don't know if she created the, the Twitter thread, but she definitely perfected it. And it was an amazing account of what went on when these two women took this road trip. And I remember reading it thinking, if this ever becomes a movie, I'm going to go see so it. So they made a movie of so it? So they made a movie of it. This year? This year. And I went to go see it. And the reason I'm putting this at number five, July 13th, 2021, it was the first time I went back to a movie theater oh. in over a year. The last time I was in the movie theater was March 2020 to see uh, The Gentleman with Matthew McConaughey. So this was the time that I kind of felt like, all right, a little bit like things are getting back to normal, getting back to that movie theater for the first time. So that's why I'm putting this in at number five, just okay. because it was just like, all right, man, things are getting back to the way they were. So I got Zola movie at number five. You know what I'm Co watching tonight. <laughs> Coming in at number four. <laughs> look, man, January the 6th, we all know went down in the Capitol, an insurrection, as they say. And one thing stood out, and there's one man who I believe I want to give a little bit of props to. I think he should have been the Time Magazine Person of the Year, and that's Capitol Police Officer Eugene Goodman, who well stood done, firm in the face of tyranny and said, not today, Mickey Vicky, not today. He led this pack of... Uh, I don't know what you want to call these people, but he led them away from a place where they could have done a lot of damage in the Capitol. Eugene Goodman deserves to be Time Magazine's person of the year, in my opinion. He's coming in at number four. Uh, at number three, this one really doesn't involve me because I had no you know, dog in this fight. But when one, ever one of your friends gets very excited about something and happy, it makes you happy for them. Yes, and, and, and when I, one yes. of your friends gets very yes. happy and they can make your workplace yes. better, yes. it makes for the work yes, environment yo. to be better. That's yes. why I come in at number three, Michigan beating yeah. Ohio State. Yeah. I'm putting it at three <laughs> because it made Rich Eisen happy. Yes. And as I've said before, we're seeing a version of Rich that has <laughs> never existed on earth before. At no time ever has Michigan beat Ohio State and Rich Eisen had a TV show. Yes. And and Notre Dame became a stepping stone. Yes. And Ohio State became a basketball school. Yes. And Urban Meyer just blew up and yes. flamed out. None yes. of this stuff has ever happened. This version of Rich has never existed, and I'm here for it. It made coming to work that much more fun. Thank you. Let Michigan win the national title. Give oh, it to yes. them. So we can yes. have 12 months of happiness. Bring in right? the new year. Number three. Coming in at number two, look, I think we've all, in our mind as we watch football, was like, 
and we thought, well, I, I would say this if this was going on, or I would say that, or I wonder what so-and-so would say. Well, all those answers came to light it came to fruition when we got the manning cast right oh finally yes. we got a manning cast we got to look into the brain of one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time and peyton manning and yes. uh, you know and it's and it's really great to you know kind of get their look and it, it i think if you're really a football fan man you watch that manning cast you get excited you have great guests great <laughs> insight and it's just a lot of fun to sit there and watch that that's my number two thing and coming in at number one you know, 2021, again, a hard year, just like 2020. And in order to really do what this person did, they had to go through a lot of hoops, right? They had to impress one person on a Skype call. And then they had to go through six different casting people, right? Yes. To, to make it. Then they had to go yeah. appear before CBS casting and away. say, this person it's, it's deserves bad. to get the call. Yes. So the number one thing that happened in 2021, yes. show the picture. Me on the price yes. is right, okay? Wow. I don't care yes. what you say. You oh. can talk about me going over. You can talk about me not picking the key, you but the choked. fact of the matter is for me to get onto that show. Do you understand the thousands upon thousands of people that I had to be better than yes. to just make it on that Correct. show? Correct. And because of that, you no matter what you haters you say, go. that to me is the top. And by the way, the hours of content that it's given this show yes. itself. Me being on the Price is Right and losing the number one moment of 2021 for me. Oh, and as always, man. I like to hear your answers. Hey, there you go. Let's go. go. Yes. Wow. That's right. <laughs> what else could it have been? I'm the daytime demo king. All right. Price is Right for that half hour had the highest ratings <laughs> of the week. Oh, All right. God. So when they, if they get an Emmy, I'm taking the part of it. The hour of power. Yes. TJ's top five. Hour Let's hour. go. How it started, how it's going. Moonwalk a double. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Only haters would think how that, people. How it started, the moonwalk, <laughs> how it's going, the double over. And, and the legend. Looking at the camera. Legendary status. Okay. I am a certified Legendary hand, status. So, uh, congrats, TJ. Thank you. Thank Great. you. Great back. Where's our, where's our ping pong table? <laughs> it's still out here. It, it's, still, it's still right inside my apartment. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was a, that's a grab bag, man. You went all over the map on that one. Oh, man. And, uh, Chris Brockman, we have a new uh, fantasy football team name possibility. <laughs> Clothing optional facility. Yep. <laughs> yep. Please By write the way, that down. I mean, that's just like Clothing cake. optional it's clothing facility. Optional. <laughs> facility is... <laughs> clothing optional is one thing. <laughs> But then to use the word facility, I think uh, raises it to a next level. It's big, classy. Big it's fan a, of that it's one. A classy joint. Big fan. Okay. Wow. Classy joint. That's a great team name. Clothing optional facility. It's really good. <laughs> really good. <laughs> wow. I think Paul Rudd will love that one. That's going to come out of left field next September when we call him and ask us My. to. Goodness. Ask him to do the annual choosing of our fantasy team. But like I said, I, I put that in there because. Not. That yeah. was like getting back to like, all right, I'm in a movie theater for the first time in 20 months. And I do, good. I do, I do have to say, um, if we had to go through this show's top five moments of 2021, oh, I mean. um, the Price is Right, you being on the Price is Right, incredible, holding up your, I mean, holding out all information about it, like you, you told us nothing. Bro, I, I, you vaulted didn't tell a word, a soul. Hey, you vaulted hey, all. You didn't tell of your it. mom. Nobody, bro. You vaulted all of it, and then um, we watched it unfold with you. That was fun, and man. We, we lived and died with every choice that you made, and um, most of them miss <laughs> Here you go. fires and <laughs> totally unfortunate results. Unless you wanted to walk out with a popcorn machine. I and love a ping popcorn pong and ping pong. You know, what I need another car for? It's extra insurance. What'd you need? A car and a motorcycle. What do you two, want me to wreck two, the motorcycle? Two motorcycles. Tri two, two motorcycles. Uh, who two. wants to go to Florida right now? It's too humid. You know how I feel about humidity. I didn't want to go there. <laughs> you know I don't like humidity, bro. <laughs> who needed all that stuff? Oh, the glory of God. being a Price is Right champion. I mean, what, what did you need that for? Well, what's your uh, top moment of the year? 844-204-RICH. We'll take it. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.